Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. Today is moon day. You already know what time it is. We're about to do your general reading. So we're going to take a little peek, peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I welcome any of you that may be new to the platform. This is a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, you got to let it fly by. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, that was in fact the divine timing intended for you beautiful souls to do so. My readings um, are generally about an hour and change to two hours. So this will be a deep dive. Um, I like to provide clear and concise messages. I read for Scorpio, but then I also read for the yin energy and the yang energy. So that's more of like a collective reading whenever I'm doing the yin and yang readings. Um, I may or may not next year start doing for the actual signs. We shall see how I feel. Uh, I already take two hours plus to do um, a reading. That's just how I read, even if I read for perhaps like a, a family member or something, if I'm requested. Uh, the readings just generally, they for me, the way that I read, it can range between <laughs> an hour and a half to like a two hour reading. So, and that's because I like to get deep. Um, so, Right now, this is how I am providing the messages. Um, if you are new here, I am an empath. I do channel messages intuitively, and I'm also clear audience. So you will hear music playing in the background, and you may hear me reference certain songs, telling you what song is playing. Uh, oftentimes, maybe the lyrics in the song, perhaps the name of the song, name of the artist, or even a timestamp of a song, it will resonate, correlate with what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what may come out with the tarot cards, and it all just blends very beautifully. Um, so yeah, so we have that. Uh, before I dive into your reading, I would like to just perform a beautiful sound bath for you all. This is just to raise the vibration and your frequency so that you may be able to receive a very clear and concise message. So it's important to uh, ground your energy. So that is the reason why I have implemented this little um, step. Uh, into my readings uh, that was actually a download I received and I am very obedient when my spirit team my guides speak to me so this is what I am going to be doing I'm going to just bang on the singing bowl because it doesn't necessarily like sound off when I rub it but I'm just going to give three uh, beautiful ba bangs to the singing bowl and then we will go ahead and proceed with your read beloved before we do any of that let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done so i call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother Gaia, universe source the divine to shine a powerful powerful message of love and life for my beautiful Scorpios. I ask personally for Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. To everyone that's returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. <laughs> So let's go ahead, as I said, and let's just get a nice little bang, bang, boogie on this beautiful singing bowl. And let's go ahead. So three is always the magic number for me. Let's go ahead and put that there. 
All right, babies. So let's go ahead, tap and tune in. I'm going to turn my music on. As I said, I'm clear audience. So let's see what we got playing. All right, and it looks like we have, this is Xavier Omar, and this is called So Much More. So Xavier Omar, So Much More is currently playing. So for some of you all, I feel like you all are coming into a lot more. I feel like there's a blessing, you know, as I've been picking up in the past couple of readings, I feel like you are receiving more than what you may have expected or anticipated. Perhaps if you have been applying for perhaps a new role in your career or looking for promotion, it's going to be more than you have anticipated. Uh, if some of you all have been manifesting love, I feel like the person you're manifesting is going to love you and treat you so much better than you could have ever dreamed. Um, it's almost going to be like you're going to appreciate, you're going to appreciate, you know, the experiences you may have been through that were pretty hard or uh, tumultuous or difficult or traumatic because it's like now you know what real love feels like now you really know what it feels like to be loved the right way um, some of you all I feel like there is um, you you may be surprised perhaps like I was picking up with you know if you were receiving some sort of promotion or a pay increase it's going to be so much more than you expected so I just feel like this is a, a very beautiful surprise it's coming in right around your solar return this is in fact a blessing a gift from the divine because we've been seeing a lot of carnucopia cards in your readings we've been seeing a lot of blossoming abundance we've been seeing a lot of cards just you know hinting towards um, expansion and growth and success overall so you all are having some major breakthroughs right now um, and I feel like you all are very much um, just in a very centered place very thankful very appreciative it's almost like you have that attitude of gratitude and some of you may pay it forward because you may feel like wow i wasn't expecting to get this much so some of you may be very trapped charitable um with whatever it is you're receiving you may pay it forward as i said you may be charitable you may um maybe you may invest in a particular uh idea or maybe you all may just help uh, someone that you know is trying to help themselves uh, whatever the case may be I just feel expansion I feel breakthroughs I feel rewards I feel like you're being rewarded and you're going to be so much better off than you may be right now uh, and things are just really improving for you so this is a really beautiful time that I feel you all are just enjoying and experiencing and it's really uh, because of your efforts because of your hard work that you are going uh, to receive these rewards and these blessings so I give you major props beautiful beautiful energy uh, for those who that is applicable to so let's go ahead we're gonna start off with the numerology deck and so we have on the bottom of this deck 85 that reduces to 13 so that speaks to major transformations so maybe during this you know time of rebirth this renewal that you're experiencing um, this is almost like you are being uh, reborn and now there's this blessing this opportunity that's presenting itself some of you all you've been following your dreams or you're going to feel like there is a dream that's coming true for you um, 85 as I said reduces to 13 that 13 reduces to 4 so I feel a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction uh, and I feel you're being, again, uh, being acknowledged, being rewarded, being recognized for taking the time out to heal thyself. Uh, and in healing yourself, you've learned to love yourself and loving yourself, you now know thyself. So that's why there's a major, major reward or wish fulfillment or a blessing that's coming in for you because you've taken those steps to, you know, evolve, you know, to, to, um, to transform to just emerge a completely different person um, that four also deals with perhaps there was a you know a masculine energy that really is uh, looking at you perhaps as 
you know, that, that, that one, you know, they're looking at you as someone that they have a lot of love for. There's pink inside of this um, symbol here. And so maybe someone is really uh, looking at you as a wish fulfillment and they're coming towards you because they feel that you're the one that got away. Give me one moment to turn my overhead light on. It's pretty dark in here. Give me one moment. Pardon me. I was looking at my camera like, I mean, my, um, yeah, my camera like, why is it so dark and real? didn't realize my overhead light wasn't on so so yeah so like I said somebody definitely could be coming towards you because they feel like you're the one that got away um, and this is definitely someone that has a lot of love and I do feel like they've gained some sort of clarity maybe they see you in a whole new light because of your transformation uh, you've just simply emerged as someone new like you're just a different person um, and they are very like I feel like they are very, um, I just, I get a sense of them being not even, intrigue is an understatement, you know, it's not just about being intrigued, but it's just like, maybe they feel that there's this magnetic pull, there's just a very strong attraction I'm getting from this, I don't know why. Uh, but this is a divine masculine that is feeling these feels. Um, this is someone that absolutely has, um, maybe they too have been going through some sort of rebirth, some sort of transformation. Uh, maybe they've also, you know, been growing as well. I saw 1111 just now, 1138. So that is, you know, giving me some sort of indication that there is like maybe past life vibes or someone that feels that you are the yin to their yang or someone that feels that you're the yang to their yin if this is a masculine who is attracting a divine feminine um maybe this is someone who's just looking at you as someone that they have a very strong chemistry or connection with someone that they really desire to communicate with um i uh, right now we have buena vista social club and this is called chan chan um and it says at Carnegie Hall. So perhaps maybe some of you all, you know, this is, um, I don't know who. Maybe this is someone that like could be from a different, because when I hear Buena Vista, um, I always, I, I hear like international. So this could be someone from a different nationality. Maybe they live overseas. This could be someone that is um, just from a different ethnic background I'm getting. I don't know why I'm getting that from that, but um, yeah, that's just, that's what I'm gathering. So let's proceed with the split. Let's see what we got. So we have intuition here. Again, that's another four. So I feel like this masculine is definitely following their heart, their intuition, or using discernment with how to come towards you because four and four equals eight. So I'm getting like the eight of wands, like they really want to rush in. But maybe they are trying to plan, prepare, strategize how to do so. They're following their intuition or their gut instinct on this. Uh, because you've transformed, they may be trying to gauge uh, how to do this or trying to um, gauge how you may respond. Uh, if you are familiar with this person, if you do have history, we have Maxi Priest um, playing close to you. So this person does want to be closer to you. I do feel a sense of there being some sort of distance or separation. Uh, maybe Buena Vista was also just indicating, like I was getting a sense of like international. So maybe that's just speaking to uh, distance, you know, whether emotional, physical um, distance. But this person is trying to follow their um, intuition. They're trying to use discernment. Um, listening to their higher self, listening to perhaps their angels or going to their angels and guides and asking for guidance. Um, but I do feel a strong sense of this person having a lot of love and also being up in their head because this four and the four that this 85 breaks down to, which is 13, that four, that all these both represent or reduce to eight. And so I am feeling like there's a lot of anxiety or mental conflict about this situation. Uh, especially with Maxi Priest singing close to you. So maybe they're at their maximum or their wits end um, of, you know, with, with non-communication. Uh, they just want to be close to you. Um, they just want to speak to you. They just want to be around you in your presence. I was picking up strong, like, attraction and desire, fire and desire. So let's go ahead and keep on shuffling. 
So this person may have had some sort of epiphany. Maybe this is if this is someone that you know from the past with this 13, this could be someone that you may have had an ending with or someone that definitely um, is realizing that they did not make the effort and it led to an end. You may have, set, you know, walked away uh, with the eight. I'm getting like the eight of cups um, with the eight that I was just getting with that four uh, intuition and then the 85 um, follow your dream which was 4-4 four, four. Uh, that 8 that that reduced to uh, was also giving me a sense of like you know maybe someone walked away from a connection uh, with the 8 of cups you know that's about you know self love self care um, and being selfish ultimately you know not even selfish but prioritizing you making sure you put you first making sure to not Submit your will to another person or to appease and please another person when they're not reciprocating, you know, the love or the kindness or, you know, the attention that you may be giving them. So their lack of effort led to some sort of breakdown in the connection, breakdown in the communication. And I feel like it's also has brought some sort of, you know, awareness to this person because maybe there's reflection. That's why I was picking up like the eight of swords. So there's regret there. There's a lot of ruminating, pining, you know, overthinking, analysis, paralysis. And they are, you know, fully aware now. This is like that epiphany, especially with all this yellow. This is like that epiphany of them saying, oh, man, I messed that up. You know, and now there's this desire to get close to you. Uh, maybe they could be, you know, sitting at the feet of an elder, a priest, a pastor, um, maybe an uncle, an auntie. Somebody in their family could be a pastor or be ordained as um you know a pastor and they could be getting some wise counsel seeking wise counsel getting some advice uh and this is what's bringing also this this clarity this illumination but this is also them you know trying to muster up the strength and the courage uh to come forward you know um also learning uh you know how to be more expressive perhaps or how to emote uh, because the four deals with the heart chakra and that's all about, you know, emotional intelligence. Um, even after you go through heartache and heartbreak and heart, lo you know, loss, it's like you have to heal that. And that's why I was saying earlier, you, you have to heal yourself in order to learn to love yourself. Love is an inside job. And oftentimes when you're in relationships and there's a lack of reciprocity or a lack of showing, um, you know, the affection or the attentiveness is because that's something that person may simply be lacking. They may not know how to do that. And so, you know, if a, a relationship breaks down due in part to someone's lack of showing or giving the reciprocity, uh, that's a lesson they have to learn. And so this person may have been learning, you know, their lessons um, this divine masculine, if it's a feminine, uh, they've been learning their lesson. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on. Let's get a good shuffle on these cards. Divine spirit of love and light. It's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios. Divine spirit of love. Divine spirit of light. And so we have Jill Scott, Anthony Hamilton. So in love. So I was telling y'all, I was picking up on somebody that was just like, there was a strong desire for you like I was picking up somebody that just really is just like mesmerized you know they're intrigued but I was like intrigued is an understatement and this person is apparently so in love with you you could be dealing with somebody named Jill you could be dealing with someone named An uh, Anthony you know maybe someone named Scott someone named Hamilton first middle or last so all each of the aforementioned all right, Spirit said that's good enough. Let's go ahead and shuffle the uh, cut the deck. Pardon me. And I cut three times. All right, Spirit of Love and Light. What's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios? What is the overall energy for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and of light. And we have 99 compassion. So Spirit is telling you not to judge. You know, not to judge. This is about forgiveness. Forgiveness is always with for you. Um, I also feel like the overall energy, maybe you're, you've been in like a hermit mode or maybe this person has been in hermit mode learning. Um, whatever this is, I feel like this is uh, someone who has a very strong um, psychic ability, connectivity. 
uh, to their higher self, Christ consciousness. Um, they're tapped into the frequency because they've been in this very sacred space, safe space, uh, really doing their internal work, healing at a soul level. Um, I feel spirit is telling you to show compassion because someone has been doing their due diligence uh, to grow, to evolve, to mature even. Um, compassion is really, like I said, about not judging others, um, but also being able to show forgiveness for those who may have hurt you. As I was picking up earlier, like some of you all may have been hurt, but it's like because you was hurt, it's like you now know what it feels like or you will know what it feels like to actually be loved because of the way you may have been treated. I feel like spirit is saying that, you know, you show compassion when you learn karmic lessons. Um, nines are the highest numbers of change. It's also indicative of completions, completions of cycles. And I feel like many of you have leveled up whenever I see all purple, especially in a solid card um, that tells me that you have, uh, you know, you've come into some sort of spiritual alignment. You're spiritually strong. Uh, not to mention that this is double nines. So whenever I see double nines, for those of you that may be new, uh, I always feel that that represents you and the person you're attracting to you, your divine counterpart, cosmic companion. You both are in the same energy and vibration. So each of you are in hermit mode. And that's why when I saw Buena Vista, uh, in that song, you know, for that song, I was feeling like, you know, I was picking up on like international, but that could just mean there's distance because I'm seeing like a, a picture in my mind's eye of the world card. Um, so there's distance between the two of you. And that's obvious because each of you are in this hermit mode. The hermit mode is really a very, um, you know, the hermit is really like a wizard. Uh, so that hermit will go within, seeks within for the answers. He's fully aware of, you know, you know, the things that may need to, um, you know, that he needs to, he's assessing, I should say, he's assessing some of the circumstances of his past, but he's also coming to some strong conclusions and he will move forward or she will move forward powerfully towards some very grand new beginning because that staff that he or she holds uh, is very indicative of a, a embarking on something, some new uh, venture, some new voyage. So with this nine being the highest number of change, I feel this is saying that each of you are coming out of this hermit mode. And when you do, there will be some form of communication, I feel. We have seven on the bottom of the deck, so that's personal growth. So you all have been growing, like I said, you're spiritually aligned. Um, you have been doing your due diligence to heal thyself, to grow, to evolve. We have Erica Badu, yay yo. Um, and so I do feel like um, with this energy, I'm trying to get the lyrics. Give me one moment. So what she said is I take a minute to reevaluate. So that's what I was saying here with, you know, that, that self-assessment. So you both have taken a minute, you know, for, you know, a lack of a better word, you know, like you've been taking a moment, you know, I should say to really just evaluate, to assess, to, you know, do those internal self audits. And this has led to growth. You know, uh, the seven is very, um, very uh, closely related to your your crown chakra that represents your crown chakra. This is really about you receiving some divine interventions and downloads. I was picking up on you all having a very strong uh, connection to your guides, your team, your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors. Um, really being tapped into that Christ consciousness, that God frequency, you know, where you're receiving those downloads, those transmissions, that that uh, divine um, communication, if you will. Maybe some of you all are going through maybe moments of deja vu, um, but whatever it is, you know, maybe even, you know, heavy lucid dream activity. Uh, but I feel like with this also being a very, um, a solid card, this is saying someone is really um, prepared now because seven deals with the chariot. So that represents balance, 
Uh, and we're about to clarify the person you're attracting. So I feel like your person has been going through all of the aforementioned, um, as have you. You know, so this person has been taking a minute to reevaluate, like Erica said, and they're ready to come forward because they found balance. Uh, they feel very grounded now. Uh, they've been doing a lot of healing. Uh, they've been making sure to um, assess themselves. And I feel like they are going to rush in because the chariot comes in with a force, very confident, very assertive um, and very powerfully. You know, so I feel like this person is going to rush in uh, and I feel like spirit is telling you to be compassionate if this is perhaps someone from your past, because I feel maybe this person has made some changes. But of course, the choice is always yours. You don't have to submit your will. You don't have to accept someone back. But I feel like because compassion showed out, showed up first, spirit is telling you to not be judgmental of the situation because the same way you have changed and evolved and matured and have grown this person too has been doing the same thing because you two are mirroring one another with this nine nine and so spirit is saying don't be guarded because I'm getting like the seven of wands someone has grown spirit is also saying show that you have grown by being compassionate and non-judgmental and giving someone uh, an opportunity perhaps to maybe explain some things um, you know so let's tap in tune and see what's what's coming and going on going on so who is this person that my beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them I have a message of love and a message of light thank you spirit fell down here look at that intuition so didn't I say like this person is definitely um, using discernment, you know, because as I said, maybe they feel like you are very guarded. Uh, we have five changed. So they feel they know you've changed. So as I said, because you've transformed, you've changed, you've evolved. Um, they're not sure how you're going to receive them. They're not sure how you are going to respond to them. Uh, they do desire to communicate with you. Um, but this person is trusting or utilizing um, their intuition or using uh, discernment um, in order to come towards you. This is someone very, very psychic. I feel uh, they also send you messages telepathically or intuitively because they know that you too are very intuitive. They know that you too are tapped in. Um, but this is someone who's really um, learning um, or has learned, um, you know, what love is. You know, I feel like that was a lesson they've had to learn. I feel like they also went against what they were feeling. Um, and now they are fully aware of maybe you know what they are feeling for you is love uh, because remember we had Joe Scott and Anthony Hamilton saying so in love and maybe this person was denying it suppressing it repressing it you know um, but this person now is realizing like dang you know this is love um, and so with them doing their you know own soul work and healing uh, they now are open to these emotions they're you know more receptive um, you know, as I was saying before, like, you know, they are, you know, um, they're, I think, I feel like they've grown emotionally, you know, this is like emotional intelligence. Cause as I said, that two and two that reduces to four, that's the divine masculine. Um, that is also the heart chakra. So this is telling me that someone has been growing. But I do feel like there's, you know, a lot of communication. This person could have been in two minds. There could have been, you know, some competitive energy. You know, someone that was perhaps uh, in the picture. You know, this could have been some sort of love triangle or unbeknownst to you or beknownst to you. Like whether you knew or not, that was what this person was dealing with. And they had to learn to love. Uh, and we have um, Angela Winbush. And this is called Angel. So, yeah, this person is, you know, they may have some sort of um, ancestor angel guide that is like giving them those downloads, as I said, divine intervention, um, kind of guiding them, giving them spiritual guidance on which direction to go, what to do, how to do it. Uh, but there is an angel. Maybe you all have angels conspiring behind the scene to bring this connection into fruition, um, to bring about the change, to bring about this union. 
uh, with this five here, as I said, I feel this person, their first step is going to reach out and communicate. Uh, the throat chakra, I feel, is uh, something that could have been what, you know, inhibited this person. Maybe they were not as expressive in the past because with that effort, I feel like they were not really the type to emote. And there's a train, so I feel also this distance. So this person does desire to speak to you because there is physical distance. There's also no communication. So um, so let's go ahead. So five. And that five is also associated with the higher offense. So this person may see you as someone who is their earth angel as well. Um, this person may see you as someone that they desire to marry because the five, the higher offense, is also, you know, really... Um, you know, indicating there could be marriage in your future. This person may daydream about that. This person may already know that. Uh, but this is someone who's really um, sees you as someone who's uh, been growing. You're very wise. Uh, whether you're masculine or feminine, this person feels you're very wise. They feel you're an earth angel, like you're royal, you're regal. I just feel strong attraction, strong desire, a very strong passion that this person feels you know for you and it's deeply rooted it's deeply rooted so let's see how does this person feel about my beautiful scorpios they have a message of love and a message of light so we got two cards and we got this for perseverance so yeah this person definitely feels like you have been healing you've been growing you've been focusing on loving yourselves you know, I was saying earlier, like selfish loving me, myself and I. So this person does feel like you have been really prioritizing you, um, you know, and, and just healing, growing, maturing. This is about, you know, rejuvenating yourself, your soul, purifying yourself, uh, your spirit, you know, even. But you've persevered through some really difficult times. This four is showing that you've learned to love yourself first. Uh, maybe you had heartbreak in the past because before you get to the four, you have the three. So this person definitely sees how much you've been healing and how much work, how much effort you've put into, you know, this this rebirth, this transformation. And it's like you've emerged someone completely different. The card that's flipped up, I'm going to take that first, is uh, completion. So what did I say? You've completed a cycle. So we have 999 here. So that 999 is still nine. Uh, that reduces to 27, so that's still 9. So this person, like I said, sees the changes that you've made. And those changes are changes for the better. Um, you have a healthier relationship with yourself. Uh, as I said earlier, like you, loving yourself is an inside job. And this is another solid card. So this just speaks to, and everything is solid here if you look, Scorpios. So every card is a solid card. So that just speaks to how how um i want to find the right words how it just speaks to how much work you have put into yourselves you know it, it shows your resilience it shows your passion it shows your strength and this person is matching your vibration because they too are coming in with a solid orange. And orange deals with the uh, sacral chakra. So this is someone who's starting to own who they are and accept who they are. Maybe they had to discover this. Maybe you were the lesson. You were the one that held up that mirror. But this person sees how much you've been growing. And with this completion, you've wrapped up you know, a very difficult cycle. And here you are you know, in this space. You know, just as beautiful, you know, maybe they see you as very single, self-sufficient, independent, because I'm getting like a nine of pentacles energy, the nine of cups type of energy. And that's that. That's the reason why selfish loving me, myself and I slipped out earlier, because that's really what this person sees is that you're loving on you now. You know, all of this green, this is about you loving on you now, you knowing what love is, you learning what your love language is. And you wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle. I said earlier with that 9-9, nine, nine, that compassion. It's like when you complete cycles, when you learn karmic lessons, when you come full circle, it's like you can't still be carrying around disdain, contempt, malice, you know, uh, and resentment. 
and 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 still ex, you know expect to to evolve or ascend it's like because that weighs you down that negative energy that's like baggage and so it's like you you completed it so that means that all of the baggage everything that you may have been carrying around energetically is done done thin it's like you've come full circle now you are enjoying and basking in this glory and remember earlier we had um what was that brother that was singing that song what was that song um it was Omari what was his name um it was goodness I'm trying to find it give me one moment it was uh so much more so that's why I was feeling like you know you're coming into so much more because you know maybe you were shortchanged in the past you know you didn't have um, you didn't have the love that you anticipated on having. Things didn't end in the way, you know, that you expected. But those were lessons you had to learn. And because you learned those tough lessons, now you can really enjoy, you know, someone that's going to love you right. And I feel like this is someone that does see you as an earth angel, sees you as someone that is uh, worth you know, worth, you are worth the weight. You are worth the lesson. Uh, so let's see what else we have. So what's hidden is 46 domestic harmony. So I feel like someone's going through their own ending. Someone's going, this is the only card that is now, you know, changing the, 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 sol the solidity of the cards. So we have blue and then we have green. Someone is definitely uh, going through some sort of ending uh, because 46 represents, you know, an end. That's 10. Uh, tens are endings, but every ending denotes a new beginning because that 10 reduces to one. So I feel like whatever domestic circumstance, situation, um, relationship or situationship that this person you're attracting is going through, it's coming to an end. And I feel like this person will eventually uh, express or communicate their feelings with that green in the uh, center. I feel like this is that same person that wants to express how they feel about you um, because this 46 is one and this four on the bottom of the deck is four so that reduces to five so this blue deals with the throat chakra as well so someone's definitely uh, desiring to communicate with you uh, and more importantly uh, desiring to confess you know the fact that they love you uh, that they have passion that they want a new start they want a new beginning they want to try again. They want to dust themselves off and try again. That's what I heard in my, you know, that's a Leah. So this person definitely, you know, has acknowledged and, and, and seen just how much you've grown. And I feel in many ways you could have triggered. You could have triggered this person. Um, we have Renee and Angela. And this is called You Don't Have to Cry. So this person may cry to themselves. They may cry themselves uh, to rest at night. Um, you know, they just may feel a lot of pain uh, due in part to the separation or this lack of communication or connection with you. Uh, maybe they're crying because they're miserable in a relationship. Um, they know they don't have to cry. Uh, they know that they are not meant to be crying in a connection. Um, but they also are aware that they have to walk away from something because I feel like it's no long. There's no peace here. Uh, with domestic harmony at a 10, that's telling me like there's really no peace, there's no harmony, um, there's no happiness. On the flip side of that, there could absolutely uh, be all of the aforementioned with you because this 46 and this 9 is giving me now like the 10 of cups. So this person could feel like you could provide some sort of happy house, um, you could make them a happy spouse and vice versa. They could have a happily ever after with you as well. Um, because that green in the center is just telling me about all the love. The green deals with the heart chakra as we see here. So let's go ahead. Let's see what what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of love and light spirit. What is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? I'm not taking all of those. Let me give my card to Bang Bang Boogie. Because it was about to just... Thank you, spirit. So what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have a happy ending. I can't make this ish up. So there's a happy ending with communication. You know, communication is really uh, the key to any happy relationship. You know, there has to be communication. It has to be lines of communication, 
opened so that you can resolve situations. That's perhaps the reason why spirit said show compassion. That same purple that's there is on the symbol here. So spirit is saying that through you showing compassion, which is the first step by not judging someone, by not being blocked off, but being more open and more receptive, this person will now be able to come in and express exactly what it is they feel. Because whether you realize it or not, this person is very saddened in your absence or absence. Uh, and I'm hearing to say um, that this is for a select few. Some of you all know um, whether or not you should go back uh, to someone. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you all just cut the cord on very uh, toxic, narcissistic connections. This does not apply to you. I shall say that again. This does not apply to anyone who is dealing with known narcissists. Okay, so let's let's make that clear. This is for a select few of you who may have lost contact with a beloved due in part to miscommunication and karmic lessons, period, point blank. If it got toxic and cops were involved and it was arguments and fighting and abuse, mental, mental physical or verbal, um, I am not, this is not for you. Okay, I want to make that clear, but you all know that. But I just want to say for some of you that may, you know, just be getting into tarot or you're looking for uh, some some clarity in your situation uh, and and you were in an abusive narcissistic relationship, please, this does not apply to you. You know, this is this is definitely not applicable to everyone. Spirit just made me uh, point that out. But for those of you who knows your situation, who know your situation, there's a happy ending here. And I feel like this is going to bring joy. This is going to bring a lot of clarity uh, because someone is coming in transparent. I'm hearing they're coming in with their guard down. So maybe in the past, this person was very guarded. Maybe this person was very much... Um, non-expressive non um vul they didn't they weren't vulnerable uh they didn't open up so you know i'm seeing like a clam you know like somebody was really clammed and clams are like you gotta pry it open so it's like that person is like you know they were very guarded i just get a sense of guardedness uh and that was a defense mechanism for them uh because i feel like they may have had a lot of um perhaps childhood trauma or maybe they weren't uh, necessarily, you know, they, the, the way they developed in their, you know, years, in their uh, uh, formative years, uh, it, it, there was not a lot of affection. Uh, perhaps they didn't have uh, a lot of affection or a lot of, um, you know, I, I, physical touch, like maybe they were never hugged as a child or maybe they were never told I love you by their parents um, but they were bought a lot of things they were given a lot of material items but that doesn't make up for the actual show of, of affection love you know so this person has been learning I feel and there is you know happier days ahead and I feel like with this three this person sees you know you because we got the four here so that is indicative of the emperor and then we have the three here because uh, this 93 reduces to 12 so this is definitely someone who sees you that's why i was picking up someone who sees um you know someone is very attractive you know the empress is the number three is the third card in of the major arcana um and this person is really really drawn to you they see you as very powerful resilient very independent, self-sufficient, even domestic, a healer, very wise, um, very beautiful, a master manifester, uh, someone who's transformed, you've emerged, someone completely different. And they feel this is more importantly a spiritual connection because we have spirituality and check the number seven, seven. So this person definitely feels like you are their kindred spirit, their cosmic companion. We have Layla Hathaway singing, That Was Then. So when this person returns, because I'm getting like the three of cups, when this person returns to you, uh, like for that reunion, uh, to reunite with you, to reconnect with you, um, and to rekindle the connection, I feel like they are going to show you uh, that they too have changed. Because Layla Hathaway is saying that was then. So perhaps that's the reason why Spirit Universe was saying, look, let your guard down. Because whatever 
you may be carrying, whatever misconceptions or whatever, you know, whatever belief systems you may have for this person or opinions that you may have about this person. It's like spirit is letting you know, like that was then this person has also changed. They've also transformed. Uh, but this person is heartbroken. I feel in your absence and they are really um, looking to come towards you, looking to make an amends with you. And I see 4444, four, 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 so that's beautiful. That 4444 four, four, four reduces to 16, uh, so that 16 reduces to 7. They're coming in after you. This is absolutely the chariot. They're charging full speed ahead. Spirit is telling you, let your guard down because there's absolutely a happy beginning. I feel this person is going to trust their intuition and they're just going to take like that leap of faith and come toward you and express whatever it is they feel because they do feel this is a spiritual connection so that's why i was feeling like a very strong like desire again so this person definitely feels like you're the one that got away they feel maybe you two have been you know in this little you know song and dance this little runner chaser for a couple of of lifetimes you know what i'm saying and um this person is trying to catch up to you this lifetime the seven seven breaks down to 14 which is five so they will express to you i feel um exactly how they feel they will express to you their love for you they will express to you um you know what has happened and what has taken place they're going to catch you up to the things that they've experienced and also you know the transformation that they too have gone through because this person has now evolved the same way you have with that 14 that reduces to five i feel like again you know they saw you as someone who's really wise uh who has you know kind of gone through a major change in your life and you have a more evolved perspective and i feel they too have been sitting at the feet of their elders we had maxi priest playing earlier and i was picking up like someone kind of sitting with a pastor with a preacher with a you know a priest with a master teacher a uncle a grandfather grandmother mother father whomever auntie um and just you know soaking up game <laughs> you know what i'm saying like literally sitting at the feet of the elders and asking you know for advice asking for how to um handle this situation um really looking to repair you know that's why this three is here because they are looking to reunite looking to reconnect with you so let's tap in let's get some clarifiers all right so we're going to use what are we going to use we're going to use the um the energy oracle deck so let's see what we have and we have care look at that caring connections this is number 14. We just saw 14, that 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. So this person cares deeply, deeply. They want to be your rock. They're going to do beautiful things, like just thoughtful things, purchase you flowers, take you on nice little walks, take you on boat rides, take you on, you know, just take you out, you know, court you, treat you good. You know, this is someone that really cares deeply. You know, this is someone that loves you. This is someone that's going to be expressive this time around. We have guns and roses and this is called sweet child of mine so this person could even see themselves like you know having children with you marrying you that 14 reduces to five so like i said that's dealing with the hierophant and that's really um saying how this person could see a marriage you know they could see a future with you which includes marriage you know which includes them you know just eloping you know just taking you on you know one of those one of those um destination weddings you know but this is someone that really they really want to have your back you see how tightly he's holding her he loves her he's smitten she loves him you know this is a beautiful connection a caring connection is what they have on the split this is the 27 remember i was picking up 27 with the 999 so somebody has to first walk away from a connection as I was picking up here with the domestic harmony at a 10. Someone's walking away, you know, because this is the change, the completion, walking away from a situation in order to go towards what they truly care about, what they truly desire. You know, walking away perhaps from a marriage, you know, with this uh, 9 and this 5, this 14 you know, this is somebody who could be walking away from a connection with someone that they did generally really care about. With sweet child of mine, maybe someone was with someone because they had children. Maybe they were in, um, you know, a marriage or some sort of um, 
some sort of arranged situation, but there's someone walking away, and we see that here with that domestic harmony. I was picking up on that. So let's go ahead. Let's clarify these messages. May I have a message of love and light, beautiful spirit. I have a message of love, message of light for my beautiful Scorpios. Spirit of love and light. We have a message of love, message of light. So I was picking up on somebody even um, purchasing you flowers just because, gifting you, you know, whether masculine or feminine, you know. Masculines like flowers too, ladies. So you can gift your masculine with a bouquet of flowers, you know. But with guns and roses, definitely, you know, I feel like, you know, this person is, you know, they're going to jump the gun, is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. You know, maybe they may send you, uh, you know, a bouquet of flowers for your solar returns that are coming up. You know, you may just receive some anonymous bouquet of flowers. You read the card and you're like flabbergasted. You know, this is the last shuffle. All right, let's go ahead and cut the deck. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. May I have a message of love, message of light for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. bottom of the deck will overall uh, will clarify the overall energy and we have the thinking man so didn't I tell y'all this person is strategizing this is that same person that's going through this ending because this is 46 and this is 46 so this is that person who may be in a relationship with a masculine or feminine energy they're going through you know some sort of ending and they're trying to strategize plan and prepare I did say that and we have strength on the bottom of the deck I also mentioned that, that they're mustering up, you know, the strength, the courage, because we saw that eight earlier with the four, uh, with the 22 intuition. And then we saw the 85 follow your dream. And I was saying that was eight. So I was saying they was, you know, definitely trying to muster up the strength that was up in their head. So definitely this person is trying to muster up the strength, but they're going to follow their intuition. They're going to use discernment, you know. And I do feel, because I keep hearing jump the gun, jump the gun with guns and roses playing sweet child of mine. I feel like this person will jump the gun and they're going to just take action. You know, as I said, seeking advice. Maybe they're going to, um, they're just going to trust their own subconscious thoughts. Because that's what, you know, the intuition is all about anyway. So they're just going to be, they're going to boss up, I'm hearing. They're going to boss up, take lead, take action. Because this lion is the king of the jungle, fears nothing. So this is someone being very fearless. Because the 5, the 50 reduces to 5, and that 22 reduces to 4. So that's the change they're making to stand in their power, to stand erect, perpendicularly. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see, why is this 22 intuition here? For my, oh, wow, check this out. There's another card down here on the floor. So this is like a bonus message this was down here on the floor I didn't even see that so we have individuality somebody has been learning you know learning to be uh, independent maybe they were in a codependent relationship but this is about you know learning to stand independently of another person not being dependent on someone whether it be for emotional support a lot of people are codependent emotionally sometimes it has nothing to do with finances just emotionally they don't know how to sustain you know, and so this is like, you know, kind of having no choice but to pull themselves from that. And this is all orange. I mean, red, that's actually red. So that deals with the root chakra. Red deals with the root chakra. So, yeah, this is about their security. So as I was picking up, somebody is really healing from childhood traumas, familial traumas, you know, maybe, you know, healing from parental issues. Maybe they had a very estranged relationship with a mother or a father or strained relationship with a mother or father but someone is learning you know that 11 that's a master number most people don't break it down I do is it when it's necessary but this is another two so I do feel like that's again saying that somebody is listening to their intuition but they also could have like a high priestess you know somebody that could be perhaps manipulating their energy that's codependent upon them and that two 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 is reducing to six so that six could be like, I'm getting the six of swords, making a decision to move on, to move away, to get away from this, you know, codependent energy so that they can be more um, independent, so that they can enjoy their independence because your independence is the foundation for your happiness and your overall success. 
And so we have the goddess of the moon on the bottom of the deck. So this person does have someone that's, you know, maybe they are just doing some deep dives. Maybe these are their hidden feelings because I was getting a sense of, you know, the divine masculine, like really suppressing or repressing or hiding, you know, denying their feelings or divine, denying their emotions, even if it's a divine feminine, because there's a feminine energy here. But I do feel like they're listening to their intuition. Maybe during this full moon, you may hear from this person. They may reach out and call you. We have Talib Tal Kwali in high tech, and this is called love language. So this person, what did I say? I can't make this up. And if you don't believe, let me just show you. you. Got love language. And we're talking about the divine masculine with whom I said is had to learn how to love themselves. They had to learn, you know, the very definition of love. They had to learn what love was. Because when you are neglect, neglected or going, you know, if you, it, maybe perhaps they went through like abandonment as a child. So you don't necessarily have a healthy uh, understanding of love if you felt abandoned if you felt not good enough for your own parents you know what I'm saying so when you get in relationships it's like there's there's always going to be this a disconnect you know when you get in relationships you're never going to really fully know how to um, you know engage how to be vulnerable because that you, you, you you're always very protective and guarded for, of yourself but with this moon you know maybe someone is really going within deep diving you know the moon is really about emotions it's also about listening to your intuition and we, i just saw five 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 and that five 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 reduces to 20 and that re 20 reduces to two so this is absolutely this person you know who's perhaps was in two minds who was confused maybe they had someone that was confusing them you know, maybe they were confused by what your love language was. Maybe they didn't know how to read, you know, um, how to read your love language. But I feel like with this 52, this reduces to 7. You know, this could be the reason why you may have been guarded, you know. But this is also all the more reason why they feel like they want to come towards you. They could just be trying to devise, you know, some sort of master plan, you know, strategizing some master plan. Because we do have the thinking man right next to that. And that 46 reduces to 1. That's why spirit was like show compassion. Because they've been going through the motions, beloveds. You know, whether this is a feminine or masculine. They've been going through the motions to kind of just like, I'm here and prove themselves. You know, they, 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 every night I got to prove myself. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Like this person has been going through the motions to prove something to themselves. But they also really want to prove something to you. You're the one. You know, they want to show you that they've changed. They want to show you that they have, you know, grown. And they more importantly want to show you that they they now speak your love language. So let's go ahead. Why is this 22 individuality here for the person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting? They have a message of love and light. Why is 22 intuition and individuality? Look at that. So we got, wow. So they're ready to take action. What did I say? Two, four, six, because the 22 intuition and the 11, which reduces to two, that's six. And so, you know, I was picking up on somebody like the six of swords. That's about moving away from the drama, from the negativity and going in a new direction, taking action, going to see, you know, what's on the other side, the flip side of things. You know what I'm saying? Creating a, a, a sacred space or a safe haven elsewhere, away from the drama, away from the toxicity. And so they're taking action. The 17 reduces to eight. And remember, I was picking up on like the eight of wands when I was in the beginning of the reading so this is like giving me that they're ready to take action as you can see these two horses are moving you know at two different speeds so this is really about them taking you know like finding balance you know they're trying to find balance within themselves but this white horse is about to take off whereas the black horse and black deals with protection uh so maybe they're very guarded as i was saying um you know kind of like hesitant but still wanting to go you know what i'm saying so it's like they're trying to perhaps maybe psych themselves out about how to to take this action and we have 44 see that we got man holding a heart and woman holding a heart i can't make this up i told you all that you had someone who feels like you're their twin flame their soulmate someone that they genuinely care about this is attraction this is a suit you know and look how she's holding her heart away, which is why spirit was like, yo, show a little compassion because this person absolutely loves you. They may watch you. And this is the same nine, 
you know remember the nine that was here completion uh, and we also had compassion so spirit wants you to show compassion ladies or gents you know who you are uh, for the one who's coming in to bear it all to show how they truly feel about you because this person is ready to take action this 44 reduces to 8 this is them up in their head thinking about this ruminating about this but this is also them seeing you as that star seeing you as the one you know you have star quality they may see you as someone very radiant someone very beautiful they could be trying to manifest you they still are holding on to hope they're also holding on to this love if you look in his hand he has like a heart in his hand this person this person is 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 really um, smitten and I'm hearing bitten by the smitten bug and what did I say about the sacral chakra the two this is where your person is like really you know trying to muster up that that courage to come towards you but they're also learning to to be their authentic self so that when they do come in that you will you know that you'll 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 um, I'm hearing impressed that you will be impressed you know, they, they, it's almost like they want to impress you. They want to impress you, you know. And we have, um, who is this? We got Missy Elliott. And this is called um, Friendly Skies featuring Genuine. So this is someone who's definitely coming in genuine, authentic. They're coming in real. They're not coming in to play games. They also see you as someone very genuine, someone very, you know, very honest very opened and this is that 36 this is how they see you so they feel like you're also unique like you move to the beat of your own drum like you do whatever you feel you want to do you know and it's it's not like um rebellious well maybe it is like a rebellious spirit but it's like you you are unapologetically you you know and they just want to be in your good graces with friendly skies I just feel like this person definitely just wants to come in very friendly, very humble, very, you know, extend that olive branch. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. What's, why is nine completion here for why, uh, for how this person, our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? Why is this nine? Thank you, spirit. So we got two cards. See that? This is the one that's in the upright. So we have the 41, and this is 7th chakra, Archangel Uriel. So what did I say about that 7th chakra? Remember we saw um, personal growth, and I was saying the 7th chakra. Uh, so you all are definitely like spiritually aligned, in tune, tapped in to that God frequency, Christ consciousness, because you, you completed karmic cycles and lessons. So you are seen as someone spiritually strong very wise, very learned, very in tune, tapped in. You know what I'm talking about? So this is how they see you. You know, and that's why they want to come in. They want like they want friendly, a friendly dialogue. They want to be able to, you know, converse with you about things and not feel attacked, not get into any type of argument. Look at this. You got 14 and then you got 41, which is the same numbers flipped. So it's almost like you are aware that this person is coming. You're expecting them. This person, this is how they feel about you. They feel, first and foremost, you're very in tune, tapped in, psychic. That's without a doubt. Very wise, a master manifester, you know. But they also have this very beautiful um, adoration for you. You know, this person really cares about you. Remember, we saw that on the split. So this person sees how much you've been growing and remember 14 and 41 that's 5 5 that's that's 10 so whatever completion whatever cycle you know that you've completed i feel they too are completing a cycle and i feel like they're going to come in towards you because they want this new beginning i feel they also have a lot of passion because that 10 reduces to 1 and 1 is a very masculine number very felicious so this person has a lot of passion i kept picking up on passion Passion, let me stop. So this person definitely got a lot of passion, beloved. You know? So they really, really, really are wanting to, you know, they're really wanting to come towards you. They want this new beginning. They want this fresh start. And there goes this 38. So this is the fourth chakra. I was spoke, spoke about the fourth chakra and Archangel Raphael is here. So a lot of healing of the heart. I feel like they're healing from perhaps some sort of 
painful circumstances that they've experienced. Uh, oh, we still got a couple cards here for how they feel about you. See that? So rest and rejuvenation. This is that, you know, like I said, rest and that's what you all have been doing. When you're in that nine energy, the hermit energy, that's literally what you're doing. You're going within, you're taking those internal self audits, you're meditating to get things straight. You're really in a, a very, um, you know, a very, uh, grounded place you know you're not really speaking to many people you're not really being social you're really just working on the self but you're coming out of this you know out of this very shortly because we have completion so you you have been healing from some of the experiences that you have endured that 19 reduces to one so you are about to you know embark on some new beginning or you're on the precipice of a new start as well and we have the door to personal healing and happiness and that's the number 34 so yes you're powering forward you know there's opportunities that are presented remember we saw earlier it's like you know there's there's better things that are coming in there's amazing rewards that are coming in, things that you couldn't even anticipate or, you know, blessings that you wouldn't even expect are coming in because you've worked for it. These are, I'm getting like the seven of pentacles. It's almost like spirit is recognizing your hard work and it's now paying off. So it's like with the seven, the door to personal healing and happiness, you're coming out of a time of feeling unfulfilled or feeling dissatisfied and we have happy family. I can't make this up. So this is what this person sees with you. They can see themselves building a home, a nucleus, building some sort of strong foundation, rebuilding this connection. You know, they could see you as someone that is the one that got away. They have a lot of love. And we have Prince in the Revolution, and it's when doves cry. So this person definitely with doves, that's like, you know, that's very indicative of, you know, rebirth. You know, doves are symbolic, I should say, of rebirth. So this first person absolutely wants to spark, resuscitate, reconnect the connection. They could see family. They could see, you know, building that nucleus, like I said. You bring happiness to this person. And if you look right over the masculine's head, there's like a sun. So it's almost like he's coming into this awareness. He's awakening. He's getting some sort of enlightenment. If you look over this feminine head, it's like there's a rainbow there. So she's gone through some sort of rebirth and transformation. There's children here. So remember, we just saw a sweet child of mine. So they could see themselves like having children. If you already have children, they could see themselves, you know, being, you know, like co-parents with you. You know, they could see themselves, you know, being a parent to your children. When doves cry, but with purple rain. You know, as I said, purple deals with the crown chakra. So it's almost like that's why they're, you know, in the space of intuition because they could be dreaming about this. You know, they could be thinking about this nonstop. I was picking up on like the eight of um, swords, like someone just ruminating, you know, suffering from anxiety, you know, just kind of like really, really overthinking things. Um, and it's here, <laughs> you know, the thinking man. You know, this could be like analysis paralysis as well. But they are strategizing nonetheless. This person is healing from some sort of broken heart. Definitely with this 38, that reduces to 11. So I was picking up on them dealing with someone that could have been like a high priestess. And I feel like their heart is being restored. Like they're healing from whatever experience they went through. You know, and, and remember we had Angel playing by Angela Winbush. So I feel like this angel is, you know, kind of helping this person that you're attracting to you heal from some sort of end of a marriage, a relationship, a connection, you know, it's helping them heal, helping them to restore themselves, to recover, to rejuvenate, to recuperate, you know, before they come towards you so that they can have this new beginning. So let's see, why is 46 domestic harmony here for my beautiful divine Scorpios for what is hidden. Thank you, spirit. See that? I told you there was some a lot of um, toxicity and drama. Someone is not at peace and the 38 is still here. So spirit is helping this person heal from some sort of like, like very, um, this is more like combative, argumentative. They may have someone that is really just argumentative constantly bitching about stuff complaining 
um, very hostile. So it's like there's no peace here. I feel like this person is really at their wit's end. That's what I was picking up. And they're ready to take some sort of leap of faith and just leave all of this drama behind. And with when doves cry, I feel like this person does, you know, cry a lot about this situation, you know, maybe because, you know, nobody gets in a relationship for it to fail. So maybe this person is really, you know, heartbroken because of the connection um, becoming so toxic. But I feel like with this 26, someone's definitely leaving this toxicity behind that 26 is like the eight of cups to me as well. And, you know, they're up in their head a lot about perhaps some things that uh, are going on in their personal life. This is what's hidden, but they will eventually move on, leave. Uh, they do have angels that are conspiring behind the scenes to assist them, to help them. So let's see, why is happy ending here for my beautiful Scorpios for the outcome? We have a message of love, a message of light. Why is happy ending here for my beautiful, thank you. So we have financial discipline or constraints. So if you all were suffering from some sort of like financial um, hardships, I feel like there's going to be a positive outcome. As I was saying earlier, that, you know, there was something better than what you expected, better than what you anticipated. So if you applied for a new job, uh, you may have been expecting uh, a certain percentage of an increment increase and you may have received double or triple that some of you all I heard you got like a fifteen thousand dollar increase and it's better than what you anticipated but I feel like if you were suffering from financial woes there is a happy ending here things are going to improve um, maybe someone that you are attracting is really going through some hardship because this is the 13 um, which is that number four so that's like the divine masculine energy maybe they are trying to get their finances together so that they can leave a uh, lot of anxiety a lot of a lot of frustration a lot of regrets remorse but look what's underneath that there's blossoming abundance see that blossoming abundance so there is some sort of blessing you know it's it's a a blessing nonetheless but this is also thir 3 and 9 so see that this is 3 9 which is 9 3 you know backwards so this three and then this 18 reduces to nine nine three so that's why spirit is like look there's a happy ending so if somebody is stressing over money stressing over coins the happy ending is there's blossoming abundance because the seeds that you've sowed in the past they're going to harvest and you will be able to eat from the fruits of your labor forever ever 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 and things will be balanced remember i was saying i saw the world card so there goes the world so this is about, you know, somebody that could be at a distance. This is also about completions of cycles, gaining a more evolved perspective, you know, a deeper, more profound, understanding, overstanding, omni standing of yourself, your circumstances, your situations, people you deal with, world, the life, you know what I'm saying? So this is really about evolution, growth, ascension. This is a graduation card. And then you have the throat chakra. I mentioned that as well. So there is someone that's going to communicate and express themselves. They're just trying to wrap up a cycle. They may have their funds all tied up into a connection, into a relationship. But they absolutely, this tutu, that's the same divine masculine energy who feels you are the yin to their yang. So this person already knows intuitively that you're the one. Remember, 4-4 four, four and 4-5, four, which is man holding a heart, woman holding a heart, came out together. But the way I initially put it was like this, which is why spirit was saying, yo, show some compassion, beloved, because your person is going through a lot. And we can see that here with this hostility, you know, so they're dealing with some very hostile energy. But spirit is saying that there's a happy ending um, regardless, you know, regardless of what's happening. Like you can't steal somebody's joy because, you know, spirit is blessing this union. Angels are, you know, definitely um blessing this connection as well so let's go ahead and put this back where it goes and we have earth wind and fire and this is called on your face so i feel like on your face is going to be a big old smile especially with happy ending on your face or on the face of the person that's coming in so let's get one we're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up now shay so let's see what we got coming and going out going on i'm going to use the kipper and we have privileged lady. So this is that divine feminine three. Remember that three there. So this person definitely is smitten. Definitely attracted. 
definitely intrigued, mesmerized, and we have on the split main female. So you're the one. That two and that twelve reduces to uh, five. So this person definitely has learned you're the one. You're the one that got away, and on your face, you know, will be a smile. I feel that there will be a smile planted on your face, and this person communicates that because that five is the throat chakra. So they're going to tell you how beautiful you are, how attracted to you they are, how much in love, you know, they are, whether you're masculine or feminine. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages. They have a message of love, a message of light for my beautiful Scorpios. Get a good shuffle on these cards. Our spirit of love and light. Our spirit of love and of light. They have a message for my beautiful Scorpios. And I'm hearing one more. Thank you, Spirit. Going cut Zedek. Cut number uno. Dosi. Tres. All right. I got to do that over because when my cards get crumbled up, I got to get that energy out of here, beloved. I don't like it. All right. Let's do that one more again. One more again. All right. One. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, clarifying thinking man, and we got mature man. So this person has matured, just as I said, that number five, sitting at the feet of the, the elders. Remember I was saying, I was seeing like a... The world card and the world always shows a globe. So this person is really, you know, I was saying also international. I was seeing uh, the world card in my mind's eye earlier. But this person has been maturing. They've been growing. You know, like I said, they've been in a very studious energy. You know, whether they've been learning on their own, or sitting at the feet of an elder, a pastor, a priest, you know, a, pra a, a preacher, a master teacher, an uncle, auntie. Whomever. It's like this is growth. This is maturity. This is someone going through maturation, learning, the thinking man. You know, this is someone chosen as well. This is somebody who's been, you know, kind of like ordained, you know, because whenever you see those archways, that's like really someone who's ordained. And we did see seven, seven spirituality, which lets me know that not only are you very spiritual, psychic, intuitive, your person is obviously because they came out with intuition. So we have on the bottom of the deck, despair. Look at that. This person is in so much pain. And we saw a cry. We saw so in love. We heard, not saw, we seen or heard, I should say, you know, all of these songs speaking about crying tears and, you know, over this connection. And someone's in despair. You know, it's really agonizing. It's really frustrating. And I feel like it's the lack of communication, you know, the lack of connectivity. And we have um, Anthony Hamilton, and it's the point of it all. So the point of it all is like this person is realizing and discovering they love you, realizing and discovering the connection, realizing that you are a wish fulfillment. This person's realizing that the one that they may be connected to or in a connection with, they have nothing in common. There's no chemistry. There's no. There's none of those very same um, attributes that they share with you. You know, with you, there's more of a synergy. With you, there's more of this, you know, this, this, uh, this, this pull, you know, this intrigue. So let's see. Why is 22 intuition, 11 individuality, 17 action, 44 woman holding a heart, and oh, wow, and man holding a heart? They're going to come in and gift you with something. Didn't I say that they're going to gift you perhaps with some flowers? Because we had guns and roses and I was picking up on them purchasing you some flowers. Because even on the caring connection card here that was um, that I was that I saw on the split, there's a bouquet of flowers here. So they may show you that they care by, you know, gifting you with a bouquet of flowers. You may receive a gift for your solar returns. I feel like this person realizes that you are a gift, that you are the one that got away with that eight. They feel you're the wish fulfillment. You're a blessing. 
They want to take action. They may propose to you, as I said, because this could be the size of like a ring box, an engagement, you know, an engagement ring. This person is going to tell you the point of it all is that they love you. This person is coming in very official. They also see you as official because um, we're about to clarify your energy with the nine uh, completion. And so with this 22 official, remember their number is 22. So this person is coming in official. They're not playing games. Remember I said, you know, right up into your energy, it's all solid cards. Every card we were seeing, even when I was, you know, um, expounding, um, there was a lot of, of, you know, solidity. There was a lot of solid energy showing that this person has amped it up a notch. They took it up a notch or two or three, but they are official. This is someone that is absolutely taking their power. They're going to be very, you know... Uh, very strong, very assertive, very confident when they come back. And this is someone that wants to build with you because I'm getting like, you know, the fours are not only indicative of the emperor, the four, uh, the, the heart chakra, but it's also the 1111. You know, that's the vibration of the 1111. And remember, we saw 1111 earlier. And so this is that twin flame. And we have Barry White, uh, love serenade. So they're going to serenade you, like I said, court you. You know, this is somebody that's going to, you know, take you on trips because that Buena Vista was giving me like international, you know, international travel or somebody that could be from a different ethnic background or somebody that may have, um, you know, there may be some distance. But um, this is definitely someone that's going to serenade you, you know, with with love, you know, by just being thoughtful and kind because we saw effort before. So their lack of effort before has kind of, you know wisen them a little bit they know now what your love language is and they're going to match it they're going to come in officially you know masculine or feminine so why is the uh, nine completion 14 care and connection the 41 crown chakra 19 rest and rejuvenate 34 daughter personal healing and happiness and a happy family here we got thief see that so you got rid of some sort of thief of joy, thief of happiness. This is the completion. So you're wrapping up a cycle of dealing with someone that was negative. You moved away from that energy. The 24 is six. Six deals with the six of swords I'm getting. So you moved away from someone that had to teach you some sort of karmic lesson. How they feel about you is maybe they felt like they, you know, kind of like that they didn't reciprocate. Maybe they feel like they didn't. Um, they took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. Uh, and that could be the reason why you moved on. And didn't I say they're going to send you a message? You know, and this is what they feel like. You know, maybe this is the apology letter that some of you all could have been waiting for. Maybe this is just, you know, someone really confessing how they feel. Secret admirer type of vibes. Like you may not even know this person is still thinking about you. But then again, yes, you do because you're highly intuitive. So and, and if they're thinking about you as much as it's showing here, then you are absolutely picking up on them hits. You know, you picking up on that that energetic hit, them them into intuitive and telepathic hits. But there is a message. This is what they are genuinely uh, desiring to do because all of this energy here is showing. I feel like they've been kind of deceitful, you know, sneaky. You know, I'm getting the six of swords type of energy. You know, where you kind of moved away. How they feel about you is like you may think of them as some sort of thief of joy or somebody that you can't trust. You know, and they really want to apologize. This person has a lot of, of, of regret. You know, this is what they want to confess, what they want to say. Let me get one more card for how this person feels about my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. See that? This is what they feel. Main male. Remember we saw a main woman. So they definitely feel like they're the one. They love you. And they want to take action. And they want to apologize. They want to start over. Because when you have the one, this is like a new beginning. So this is what they feel. They feel like you may look at them like somebody you can't trust. That's why spirit is like, look, show some compassion. Don't base somebody off of some past things. Or judge someone, rather. Not base, but judge someone on past behavior. Unless they come back on the same, you know what I'm saying, on that same ish. But if you see change behavior, then that's it warrants you to, OK, give them an opportunity to explain or to, you know, to expound more, you know. But this person has you can see that they've clearly matured because five is there. And then we have this one 
So this person has matured and they're ready to take action. See that? This person, wealthy man. So they are really, um, you know, maybe somebody was dealing with someone uh, for money. They were being used for money with financial constraints. I was picking up on like, you know, someone who, uh, you know, may have their money tied up in certain things. And when you're in a domestic situation, your money is absolutely tied up in bills and everything, all these entanglements. And so somebody could be really pissed off that somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants to part you know, because they're like, well, how am I supposed to pay these bills by myself? And it's like, um, I don't really know what to tell you, but I got to go do me. You know, you know, maybe I can help you out a little bit, but I'm not going to be living under this roof with you. So we got wealthy man here. So this person is well off. They are vi financially free. See that they're breaking free from some sort of yoke. They're breaking free from some sort of karmic connection because that anchor is kind of loosening you know, loosening out of the ocean water, like, you know, the ocean's um, soil there. And look at this, this powerful, look at this, can't make this up. So the wealthy man, look at that same energy. I can't make this up. So you got the wealthy man and then you got the privileged lady, which is again, a suit. So they already see, we already saw yin yang 22 in the energy oracle. This person absolutely feels you're the yin to the yang, yang to the yin. They're twin flame, their soulmate, their cosmic companion, their kindred spirit. This person has to leave another situation and they're going to charge towards you for this major breakthrough, this victory with that 25, that's the seven. So that's like them charging ahead with like the chariot. You know what I'm saying? This is what we see on the bottom of the deck. You know, in order for them to do that, they're going to have to break someone's heart because I just saw bad health. You know, they're going to have to break someone's heart. I feel they're also heartbroken in your absence. Why is this 46 domestic harmony and the hostilities card here for what's hidden in the energy? So all of this is happening behind the scenes, you know, which is why it may have taken some time. Why is 46 domestic harmony hostilities here for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And we have message of concern. Didn't I say they have to leave somebody? So someone is leaving someone. They're going to communicate that I got to go and it's not going to end as uh, easily as they think. It's going to turn into an argument, fighting, but they got their guard up. They're saying what they need to say. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like they're absolutely expressing to someone that they no longer wish to be in this relationship. It's a Rizzy rap. And this 46, you know what I'm saying, in that 14, that reduces to six. So that's like, you know, somebody really saying like, look. I'm out. Six is the six of swords. You know, with this message of concern, somebody's going to be very disappointed, very unhappy, you know, with this outcome because they're not anticipating this, expecting this. They could be dependent on someone for money. But this is what's going down. And Spirit is saying, you sitting here expecting your, your boo-boo. <laughs> you're expecting your beloved because you already know, like I said, because you're psychic, you're intuitive. You had that, that uh, psychic... Um, energy here with the seventh chakra and this is when you are tapped in tuned into the frequency beloveds so with that 28 that one it's like you're expecting some sort of new beginning new start with someone this is also you know showing there is a new beginning there's a happy new beginning you know happy new start for many of you and we have uh, D'Angelo and the Soultronics. This is called Fall in Love. So you are featuring Jay Dilla. So you absolutely will be falling in love, you know, with that person. And I feel like it's because, you know, you and this person are kind of matching one another's energy. You're looking for a new beginning, looking for a new start. But you're expecting this man. You're expecting this main male or this main female. But somebody is working out of some sort of entanglement. Let's see, why is this 93... Happy ending 13 financial constraints here for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. We have a message of love, a message of life for my divine feminine, divine masculines. Why is happy ending financial constraints here for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of love and light for the outcome. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Let's get this together. We're going to have to do a bang, bang, boogie. Yeah, this person, y'all are going to fall in love. That's why happy ending is here. 
It's gonna it's gonna end, you know, better than you could have been anticipated. So why is this 93? Thank you, Spit. I can't make this up. <laughs> Happy ending. I told y'all all throughout this reading that this person can see marriage with you. And here it is, marriage. This is going to end in marriage. This is also going to end in y'all building some sort of nucleus. Y'all are going to have abundance. This message is coming through in the air waves. Y'all are going to have a conversation. This person will confess and express these things. This person may travel to see you. This is absolutely someone that wants this major breakthrough with you. You got seven and seven, which reduces to 14. There will be a message. They will communicate and express these things. And we still got D'Angelo singing. Oh no, actually, look what we got. Mary J. Blige featuring Fabulous saying, come, come see about me. So they're going to see about you, all right? They're going to come and see you. They're going to visit you. They're going to travel to see you. I get this chariot with the seven here. So they're taking action, beloved. This can't wait anymore. Like, they are ready. They want to take this leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting that sense. They want to just, like, you know, jump the gun. Like, they're going to really just come in. And they're going to express everything that I said. This is the three. This is what they see when they see you. They see you as their kindred spirit. And this is just what it is, beloveds. Wow, this is beautiful. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you will, please be kind. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the wicka, wicka like button so that this video can get into the algorithm so others can discover the reading uh, for those that may need it. Um, if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your kind words. If you are new to the platform, I hope the message is resonated. I hope my energy, my vibe resonates with yours and you stay a while. Um, definitely share the video. Definitely hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, I send a big fat ashe, ashe, ashe to you all. Enjoy the rest of your moon day. Peace.